<laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. I've seen a lot of roosters and hens in my life, but these are really pretty. There's one rooster, so that's the male right here. The rest of them are hens, all females. everyone this is David Hoffman from David's been here coming at you on a cold Sunday morning in La Pian, Kosovo this is like a small village right outside of Jilan and today what I'm gonna show you is this market which is like a live produce market you got goats lambs you have chickens turkeys I mean non-stop produce here and then after this we're gonna go to a castle a really famous castle about 20 minute drive from here and then from there we're going to another city called Fierza Woo! It is freezing. Sunday market only. Oh, sorry, this car is coming. So only for domestic animals, villagers selling their products. So this happens every Sunday here in the in intersection, going from uh, from Jilan to Novo Burdo, where is the castle. So here we have a lot of chickens, goats, sheep, uh, domestic like uh, animals, cows over there. And except this, we have a lot of vegetables, like villagers coming here to sell their products. Villagers also come here to buy, like if they want a ship for milk, for, for everything. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I said produce because it's live animals and produce. It's vegetables, you know, so there's peppers, there's onions, there's honey. Here we have a ram. Soskozu. Soskozu, Soskozu. 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 Soskozu, yeah. We ah. have here Ivar, the special Balkan product, and this is tomato juice. Like it's healthy. They we usually use these bottles like for Coca-Cola bottle, Fanta bottle. Yeah, and they use that tomato juice as a base to dishes, tava dishes and other meat dishes. Whew, it is really cold today. So we also have clothing. Yeah, so secondhand clothes. Secondhand clothes, I mean this is all for like older men though I can tell, yeah. right? And the shoes like too. One euro, one euro. Oh wow, this is like this faucets. Is also secondhand uh, yeah, this is like kitchen, kitchen, and then uh, bathroom stuff, right? Yeah. Guys, to be honest, I'm freezing. Let me see. I am so cold. I might have to buy another jacket. Oh, this. <laughs> right. Fits you well. <laughs> Fits me well, right? How much? How much? Wait. Ten euro. Ten euro for this? Yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, I have a jacket in the car, no. but this is nice. I mean, you look like typically from uh, like uh, Novo Burdo. You think so? <laughs> but the only problem is he has nowhere to zip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh man, it is freezing this morning. So right here, you know, a mix of obviously secondhand clothes, but then when you keep walking, you have other, you know, antiques, secondhand drills. What else we have? This is all like mechanic stuff, right? So this is like a jack, right? Here we have a saw. This is, I think this is a saw, a different type of saw. And then over here we have basically like pumpkin, right? Yep, pumpkin. Pumpkin, we have grapes, more Ivar, just non-stop stuff. I mean, I want to see the animals. Where are the animals at? This is the market that used to be like many, many years ago, but these people, they still keeping the same style, you know? <laughs> and look right here, we have Raki. This is all raki, no? Bo? Oh my god, I love it. So we have like six different types of raki. I don't think it's the it's an actual brand. I think this is all homemade, right? So now you know when you come to this market, come to my friend here. He has like 18 different rakis. The honey is not raki. Sorry, the, the honey jars are not honey. They're raki. Amazing. Awesome. And over there, we actually have some guy killing the chickens for one euro. Crazy, I can't even watch it. David, so we have some typical uh, village eggs. So we can see it is from village because it's still dirty. Like directly from the... Boop! From the... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. What do you have here? Hello. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> he said he, the, his chickens they make two eggs in, in one time. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. 
Look at these chickens. Yeah, I mean, these are go. massive. Very Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. What are they? Jelly Z XM Bulls. Theme and they want Zogan to show jelly. Look, John Kabula is John Kababa. When they make love, the chicken and the turkey, the turkey make his babies like the turkey. The, I mean, the chicken make his baby like a turkey. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh wow. Beautiful. This is a hen. I've seen a lot of roosters and hens in my life, but these are really pretty. There's one rooster, so that's the male right here. The rest of them are hens, all females. Really beautiful, my friend. Is it a, hey, is it a type of chicken, like a different type? I've never seen it like this. So big, it's like a turkey. It's like a I love it. I, I'm going to take some in my farm. So right here, this guy sells axes. Wow, look at this. Different type of chicken with a nice hair. <laughs> they had a haircut. It's black with like white spots. Very different. So what chicken is this? Astrolope. Astrolope? Yeah. So what's astrolope? Just a astrolope different type? Is, yeah, different type of chicken. Uh, wow. Different, depends on real, but very beautiful. All the chickens here are very beautiful. Yeah, very different. I mean, this is black, but it also has yeah, like some green. The black, they have a like kind of brown and they have a s splashy with white with the, with the black dots yeah i mean it has a little bit of greenish right greenish like aqua there these are some ducks but different kind of color it's very beautiful they're very small i think they are three month ducks <laughs> this guy wants me to pay to take a photo no no come on man this chicken is so small, so cute. So we got ducks, we have small chickens, we have this beautiful white turkey, really, really big turkey, and then we have more ducks. I mean, this is sort of what we're gonna see nonstop. And in front of us, we have a guy with like, what is this, more chickens? Just more and more chickens? Look at this, huge truck full of chickens. I mean, they're overcrowded, but the good thing is that these go straight to farms right away or to restaurants. As you keep walking, you see sort of the same, just non-stop the same. But here we also have big turkeys, like giant turkeys. These are the types we have in America, very similar. And you have just more chickens, more ducks. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> very good, you? Felimenderi, felimenderi. Just poultry forever, right? Poultry, oh, okay, so here we have something else, right? So this is like pottery. So here we have some tava plates, small, big, we also have that for the Rocky. Oh, that's oh look at this. See ya. Sub into Tava de Moya. 30 euros. Perfect for chicken with uh, rice. So, Arjan, I, I love everything. This one is for water, right? Yeah. How beautiful. 8 euros. But all, you know, pottery, handmade. These are really nice. These are just bowls, right? Do you eat out of this? For soup. Oh, for soup, this one? Okay. Sorry, it's confusing sometimes because you have the tavas and you have different sized tavas and you have different sized bowls and plates. And then here he has some belts. I don't know, want anything? Wow, I like it all. And it's all from here. Yeah. How much? It's nice but too big. Can you get it in a plane? It's 20 euros for this big jar for water. I don't know, I mean, it's super nice. It's gonna be hard, it, it's heavy, right? I'm seeing a, another pottery man selling like, but I see the potteries here are with uh, some cups. My friends, I come to you next. I come next over there. So here we have pottery, non-stop pottery, all tavas. Hello. This is nice. You like anything? Which is this one, beautiful. Perfecto, perfecto. Perfecto. Oh. I personally perfecto. like this one. Like, this one's awesome, right here. This is another water one, no? Aqua. Si, sí, aqua. Va bene, questo bono, bono. E tu lo fai? Tu lo fai? Tu lo fai? Tu questo, si? So he's the one who makes it all. Wow, really nice. Quanto queste? Quante? Euro. Euro. Eight. 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 Eight euros for that water. Hey, let me see. Let's see what Arjan. Arjan's gonna buy something, I'm probably gonna buy that water one. That is awesome. I like the plates too, man. This is like so beautiful. So beautiful. Eight. Eight for this one too? Eight. Eight. Ten. 
10. 10, 10, 12. Wow, 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 this is... Ah, space and mold, dude. Wow. So this is what we're doing. I'm taking this for my Ooh, wife. Look, I love it. Serving. We're taking six of these small ones for the turtle farm, and then we're also taking. You're taking another thing, right? Uh, you're taking that right there. Yeah, that one. So it's a big pot. You put the chicken, the village chicken, with the rice. Smells good. So. <laughs> to the big one. This is better. It's like more rice for a big table of six. Our baby. Then, like pull this with rice, chicken on top. My my So we're buying uh, like six small ones, two big ones, 46 total. Yeah, so the small ones were like three euros each, and the other ones were like 20 around there, 20, and uh, that one's like I don't even know, a euro. Okay, good good deal. I think it's a great deal. I mean, this is awesome. I think once our turtle farm is more developed, we're gonna come back here. We got his number already. We're just gonna buy a ton of stuff. I really love this, the sugar ones. Hey, how much for these, the sugar ones? Two euro. All right, man, I'll take two of these. Family. Family needs this. Okay, we have kind of Tea or tea? Huh? So, what do you want? Like, uh, Look. he's not giving like this guy, but he wants to give like something else to take away. So you have? Oh, look, he's opening the car. Uh, yeah. Okay. Stop your window, sir. Chain, come, come. So the total price was 50 euros. He didn't give us a discount, but he gave us two extra little potteries for some sauce for the farm. So 50 euros, my friend. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Buy from him. Amazing. 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 So thank you very much. Thank you very you're the man, much. You're the man. I love his stuff. Thank Come you. here, buy everything. I'm so happy. That was awesome. Yeah, that was a very, very beautiful, interesting experience. The only thing I didn't like is the man who killed the chickens like a <laughs> like a ninja. I mean, they have to have somebody like that here because yeah. once you buy it, you're going to take it home to eat. You gotta, you know, have yeah, somebody yeah, yeah. You can do it. Most of people suffer, like if you want to buy a fresh chicken, but the problem is, is who's going to kill the chicken. So there is, in this market, there is two men, they do this job for one euro. So you give them one euro and they give the, kitchen, the chicken to you, ready to cook. So now we are going to Novo Birdo Castle. So David, over there, from here we can see the castle, Novo Birdo Castle, built during the 13th century. So that area was very famous because that area was full of gold and silver and the castle was built for that reason, to keep the gold safe inside the castle. It's gold and silver. They always collecting gold from cities around and they keep it safe here. So this castle is basically just ruins, right? There's nothing inside, it's not a living castle, there's no restaurants, no souvenir shops, nothing, right? Uh, there are some restaurants outside of the castle and a bar, if I remember. So, but inside the castle, nothing. Yeah, we have to hike up there, it's like a three minutes walk. And uh, then we'll see the walls surrounding this. So we have to hike about five minutes up this rocky path. And there's a castle. I mean, obviously all ruins on the base. You have a few different cafes and restaurants. Wow, beautiful. Huge castle, huh? So it's 13 meters high. And what is special about this castle is this has a visual view with two more castles so in case the enemies were coming to take the gold from this castle they they could have seen from these two and as you can see the castle was built on this huge rock huge boulders it's like massive cliffs right overlooking the whole area i can't even believe how big these boulders are i mean i haven't seen rocks like this in a long time oh wow and over there we have the ruins of something looks like a mosque Hey, is that a ruins of a mosque or what is that? They're renovating this side of the castle. Lots of rocks, lots of concrete, fixing it all up. And this is all renovated already over here on this side. But what's really interesting are the corners of the castle are these red bricks. So this is the old piece of the castle. Really beautiful. Where'd you go? How did you even get up here? It's like a maze. The entrance is closed, but you can see from the main door. This castle is actually very easy to visit, right? So you come, you walk around, 
You see the castle, the walls, huge, massive walls. Like you said, 13 meters high. It's currently under renovations on this side and the other side. You can see it's like the rocks and the, the wall has basically fallen apart. So they're fixing it. You also see cracks in certain pieces of the wall, but the views are stunning. Look at these views, incredible. And Erjan just went down here because there's uh, some ancient ruins here. I don't know exactly what it is. Gotta be careful though, because it's all rocks. This entire trail is a rocky trail. How did they get up here in the 13th century, dude? For every castle, the most important thing was to have water supplier inside. And over here we have five wells, not one, but five. So, and one of these have still water inside. This makes this castle like it's still living castle. Yeah, and from here you probably get the best photos of the castle with the ruins. And I'm guessing this area was housing, right? It must have been housing because there's like still the foundations of some houses here. A little path, right? So there's the path. People would walk here, pull out the water, and go to their house. Wow, so beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, the view from here, you can see everywhere. 360 degrees, you can see all over the mountains of Kosovo. So for that reason, it is built in, the, in this hill. So as I mentioned before, you can see there are two more castles and they can fire well, up. But where are those castles, do you know? They're ruins. They're probably gone by now, right? They are I mean, ruins? This is the best one. Like we can go nearby to check, but they are ruins now. Drive is one hour to Ferize. Ferize, what's that? It's another small town of Kosovo, beautiful one. I mean, they definitely built this castle at one of the best vantage points in the area. I think that hill's a little higher, but everything else is below us. So, if there's a castle there, a castle there, a castle over there, everybody can notify if anybody, any invaders are coming. And that's how it was throughout all of Europe. You know, I'm from Italy, in Umbria, there's some towers, like watchtowers, but there's like a hundred in a row, you know? Every hill has one. So, one fire, another fire, another fire. Yeah. Almost like Game of Thrones, right? Yeah, exactly. So it was like they had to make a plan, like in case the enemy comes, how to inform people. So that was the easiest way. As you can see, the area around Jilan is a huge farming community. Yeah. There are cows, goats, sheep, everywhere. Literally on this strip, on this street, it's left and right, just farm after farm after farms. We have small chicken farms and you see like a hundred cows in a row. I mean, really amazing stuff. And right now we're about to make a right and take a, a highway or you know a back yeah, road. A national road, yeah. A national road that takes us straight down to Frisa. 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 Can't wait. Another place here in Kosovo, and that is South Kosovo. That's considered south. Yes, south. Yeah. Southeast. Because here is east completely. Yeah. This is like really close to the border with Serbia, also Macedonia, a little more to the to the south. But we're gonna go even more south, and it's literally directly south of Pristina, right? Exactly, yeah. Forest left and right side. We are driving like we are flying over the forest. Not one car. We've been driving for like 15 minutes. Not one car. And this is really amazing. This is a back road, national back road. I have to open this man to smell air, fresh air. Ah, oh. <laughs> yeah, it really is nice. I mean, the forest, look at this, beautiful. Entering winter, obviously, everything. What happened there? Oh my God, I think a car just like skidded off the road. <laughs> it just, hand brakes up. <laughs> and here we're entering Feriza. Beautiful, another small town, right? Another small town, exactly. Just next to Pristina, so it's half an hour for Pristina, but because we took another back road, it took a little longer, yeah. yeah. And then it's also really close to the border of Macedonia, only about a 20 minute drive from here. You can easily get to the capital of Macedonia, Skopje, in about an hour, maybe less. I mean, it looks like really, really close to the map. And yeah, guys, I mean, I hope you enjoyed the day. We started off at a livestock market, really incredible place. You can buy everything there from raki to honey, the clothing, you got you know stuff for cars, uh, gardening work, uh, yeah. equipment, and pottery. Pottery was our favorite part, obviously we bought some stuff. I got a big oh. towel for myself. I also got a few things of sugar. Casserole, casserole. The casserole, yeah. casserole. And you got uh, like six tavas for the farm. 
Yeah, pretty amazing stuff. I mean, super affordable. We only spent 50 euros on so much. Well, the guys were in Chilesh, pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then after that, we saw an amazing castle. The one castle you have to see in the area is that one. There's multiple castles there, but this is the, I guess the the best, the most the most preserved. Yeah, the most preserved in that area. Artana Castle or Nova Berta Castle. Nova Berta Castle. And then from there we drove about an hour, hour and 20 minutes to Fierza. Uh, Ferize. Ferize. We're gonna spend here about 24 hours. Uh, tomorrow I leave. But yeah, so today we're gonna explore. We're gonna see what this place is about. We're gonna eat some food. I'm very excited. Well guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. See the next travel food adventure in Fierza. Ferize. Ferize. My God, I can't pronounce it.